What's going on everybody, this is Stingy. Um, today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on the indented text in Photoshop because I've had some requests to do this and I thought it would be good to test out my Mac for tutorials and screen flow and whatnot. But this is what we're going to be making today. So this is a Skype logo. So I'm just going to hide that and um, just We'll, back, we'll open a new file. Um, so 1280 by 720 is what I normally use. And what I'm going to do, it doesn't really matter what you have as your background, just sort of like a dark colour, but I'm going to do a ellipse uh, gradient because that seems to look very nice. I like that a lot. So there we go. Um, I'm going to place in the Skype logo here, um, and we'll just leave it, just resize it a little, make it not so big. Now this will work on basically anything, uh, so it's up to you, um, but it's a really nice effect for backgrounds and you can even uh, use it on like desktop backgrounds and intros if you really think you can do that. But what, I, what you need to do is if you're using a logo and it's got a white or black background, you need to go to color overlay and change that to like a dark gray. And if it's just text, then you just need to use a dark gray color for your text. Once you've done that, you want to come up to drop shadow, add a drop shadow. You want to change the opacity to 36% and want to change the blend mode from multiply to normal and the color from black to white. So that gives these sort of highlights um, which actually look quite nice. Uh, the angle you want to 90 degrees and get rid of use global light and the distance uh, you have at 5 and the spread you have at 5 and the size you have at 0. So that's the first part. I don't know why that didn't change. Anyway, uh, so now you want to add an inner shadow, and with the inner shadow, uh, you just want to uh, make sure that's on 90, and the distance you want at 8 or 9, whatever you think looks better, and the choke you want 5, and then the size, it's up to you, but I normally use like 3 or 4. Um, and as you can see, it's looking a little bit too dark up here, so we can just come back up to the drop shadow and just mess around with um, these settings here just to see what you like the best. Um, so I reckon it just it takes a bit of fiddling around, but you'll get better. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that. That looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's honestly it's up to you how much you want, but just keep in mind these settings that I've given you because they are the base basis, and then the rest is up to you on what you want to do. Anyway, um, just a little quick update. Uh, things that I'm going to be doing in the future. Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway very soon. Not sure when, but it will be soon. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of OCEs, uh, so, and I'm thinking of having a one clip edit, free one clip edit clip, uh, week sometime in the holidays, so I'll keep you posted as to when that is. But basically, send in your clips and I'll do a one clip edit to your clip for free. Um, may possibly having a half price GFX week as well, so stay tuned for that later on. Um, anyway, uh, talk to you later, guys. This has been Stingy. And I'm out. Peace.